We all know Yandere Simulator, an indie game about a Japanese schoolgirl who stalks a boy and tries to eliminate every girl that develops a crush on him, all while trying to appear innocent. It has become one of the biggest indie games in recent history and has developed a very devoted fan base. In this video, we'll be going over 100 facts that you should know about Yandere Simulator. All credit goes to Channel Frederator for inspiring this video. So, let's get into it. Number 1. Yandere Simulator was created by an indie developer known as Yandere Dev. Number 2. Yandere Dev got the idea for Yandere Simulator in 2014 after talking to a friend. Number 3. Yandere Dev soon pitched his idea to 4chan, where it was pretty well received. Number 4. After receiving positive feedback, development officially began in early April of 2014. Number 5. In the same time period, Yandere Dev created a prototype video showcasing the basic idea for Yandere Simulator. Number 6. Around this same time, Yandere Dev created his WordPress blog, where he shares updates on Yandere Simulator's development. Number 7. It didn't take long for Yandere Simulator to gain traction, with some websites interviewing Yandere Dev as early as November 2014. Number 8. The model used for Ayana was bought from the Unity Asset Store. This served as a foundation for the game's story and concept. Number 9. Yandere Dev created his YouTube channel on April 4th, 2014, with the first video being uploaded on there the same day. Number 10. In November and December 2014, some test maps were released for players to play with. Although they are hard to find, these test maps are still playable to this day. Number 11. A lot of big name YouTubers such as Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Cory X Kenshin, and Cub Scout started making videos on Yandere Simulator, giving the game a huge boost of traction throughout the year. Number 12. Due to this, the game had amassed nearly 5 million downloads by the end of 2015. Number 13. According to Yandere Dev, he received an offer from a game publisher slash developer. He rejected it however, saying that it was quote, unappealing. Number 14. The original title screen looked like this and contained Japanese text. Number 15. Yandere Simulator was banned on Twitch due to the player being able to kill minors. Number 16. The font used in the logo for Yandere Simulator is Futura Condensed Medium. Number 17. The first ever playable build of Yandere Simulator was released sometime in early 2015. This does not count the test maps I mentioned earlier. Number 18. Some of the key features that were added to Yandere Simulator in 2015 include photography, Yandere vision, kidnapping, teachers, classrooms, and school atmosphere. Number 19. The dragon skulls seen in bad time mode looked like this, but were changed to original models at the request of Toby Fox. Number 20. Speaking of bad time mode, it is known to be Yandere Dev's favorite easter egg. Number 21. The original model for the teachers was just an edited version of Ayano. Hey, it's understandable since resources were limited at the time of their implementation. Number 22. Prior to March 2016, Yandere Simulator had a warning screen that showed prior to the main menu. This was removed in March 2016 due to Yandere Death thinking it was quote, cringy. Number 23. One of the planned rivals, Oka Ruto, was previously in the game as a functioning character. Number 24. However, she was removed in August 2018 as that version of her was only a placeholder. She'll make her true appearance in the final version of Yandere Simulator. Number 25. Speaking of rivals, there were two test rivals that existed before Osana. The first one was Rival Chan and the second one was Kokona Haruka. Number 26. Kokona was the only test rival who was not removed from Yandere Simulator, as she is now a normal student at Academy. Number 27. Even though only Asana has been officially implemented as of this video, she is not the only rival that can be seen in game. Megami Psycho, the tent rival, can be seen on the laptop in the student council room. Number 28. The original design for Muja Kino was eventually used for Juri Nagasawa. Number 29. Yandere Dev's YouTube channel reached 1 million subscribers on September 17, 2016. He soon received a gold play button for this. Number 30. The most viewed Yandere Simulator related video as of June 2023 is an animation skit by IHAS Cupquake, which has over 62 million views. This goes to show how popular Yandere Simulator truly is on the platform. Number 31. A list of YouTubers that have covered Yandere Simulator in the past include Markiplier, PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, Cub Scouts, Mess Yourself, Brian Stuff, and FanatFlu. Number 32. YouTube isn't the only platform that Yandere Simulator has a fan base in. Some other platforms include Instagram, Reddit, Discord, and Wattpad. Oh god. 
Number 33. Yandere Simulator has been referenced in pop culture a few times, with a notable example being the game getting featured in a music video by Denzel Curry. Number 34. In 2015, Yandere Death stated that Ayana would not have the ability to disguise herself as another player. This is because it would be too close to plagiarizing the video game franchise Hitman. Number 35. Yandere Dev has also stated that the current in-game models for the characters are quote, unsatisfactory, but that implementing new character models would be very time-consuming. Number 36. That being said though, it is likely that the game will use original models in the future. We'll just have to wait and see. Number 37. Relating to this, a lot of the graphics used in Yandere Simulator are just placeholders meaning new graphics will be implemented in the future. Number 38. It is estimated that the game's final amount of space used will be somewhere between 10 and 25 gigabytes of storage. That is a lot of space. Number 39. If anyone wanted to know what it would take for Yandere Simulator to get cancelled, it would take one of three scenarios. The entire internet stopped caring about Yandere Simulator, Yandere Dev is told he only has two months to live, or a meteor hits Earth. Number 40. Yandere Simulator may be renamed at some point in the future to either Lovesick or Lovesick Yandere Simulator. This is because the meaning of Lovesick is similar to that of the term Yandere, so it fit the game pretty well. Number 41. The reason Ayano is named that is because there aren't that many Google searches for that name. Number 42. Along with this, Yandere Dev wanted to name her something with the prefix Yan somewhere in it. Number 43. However, he initially didn't want to name Ayano that, or anything for that matter, as he believed that the protagonist having a name was quote, unimportant. Yandere Dev soon changed his mind and decided to give Ayano a name. Number 44. One of the first ideas for Ayano's name was that it could mean murder. Some names that were suggested include Satsu Jinsha and Jinsha Satsu. Number 45. In the end though, Yandere Dev went with Ayano Aishi as the protagonist's name. Number 46, Ayano is referred to as Yanchan by other students, likely because of the prefix Yan being in her name. Number 47, however, teachers are likely to refer to her by either her last name or her full name. Number 48, Ryoba's name comes from the Japanese word Ryobo, which translates to dormitory mother. However, Yandere Dev changed it to Ryoba so that it would sound more feminine. Number 49, the word Ryoba translates to double-edged and is the name for a type of double-edged sword. It also fits Ryoba's nature as she appears to have two sides to her. Number 50. As for Ayano's father, his name comes from two individual words. The first part, Jo, translates to concession, while the Kichi part translates to luck or fortune. Number 51. Jokichi is one of only two characters that believes the journalist was telling the truth about Ryoba's true nature, with the other one being headmaster Kocho Shuyona. Number 52. Both Ryoba and Jokichi's favorite colors are purple, with the former liking it because it's the latter's favorite color. Number 53. Considering Ayano's nature, Jokichi fell into a depression and started smoking as a coping mechanism. It's pretty sad to be honest. Number 54. On the bright side, the thing that will make Jokichi the happiest is finding out that Ayano is a quote, normal girl. Number 55. The character model used for Taro Yamada, aka Senpai, is from the Taichi character pack in the Unity Assets store. Number 56. Taro Yamada's name is never explicitly stated by anyone in Yandere Simulator, but is mentioned in both the student info screen and in-game social media. Number 57. The female counterpart of Senpai is known as Teiko Yamada. Her personality would be very similar to that of male Senpai. Number 58. Yandere Simulator was developed using the Unity Engine. Number 59. To be specific, Yandere Simulator started out in Unity Engine 4, then switched to Unity Engine 5 in 2017. Number 60. Along with this, the game's code switched from JavaScript to C Sharp. Number 61. The character of Midori Gurin was implemented as an easter egg in the August 12, 2015 build. Number 62. They are the second character to be implemented as an easter egg, with the first being Pippi Osu. Number 63. Midori's first name is Japanese for green, and her last name is the katakana transcription for green. So Midori's name means green green in English. Number 64. Midori Gurin was the second character who was able to be pushed off the roof with the first one being Kakona Haruka. Speaking of the latter, number 65. 
Kakona Haruka's father is known to be in debt as a result of taking out a loan to pay for her education. Number 66. In past versions of Yandori Simulator, the player was able to free Kakona's father of his debt through some pretty intense means. However, this side quest is no longer in the game. Number 67. With that being said, Kakona's backstory has not changed. Her father is still in debt. Number 68. Apparently, there are 17 personas in Yandere Simulator. I don't really know how to explain which ones are official and which ones aren't. So if someone could let me know in the comments, that'd be helpful. Number 69. Nice. Each persona causes students to react to murder and other events differently, depending on what persona a student has. Number 70. Yandere Simulator currently has 19 existing elimination methods that the player can use. Number 71. The first elimination method to be implemented into Yandere Simulator is Homicide. Number 72. Some other popular elimination methods amongst players include kidnapping, framing, and matchmaking. Number 73. The basement in Ayano's house was built by her great-grandfather at the request of Ayano's grandmother. Number 74. Both Ayano's maternal great-grandparents were her first relatives to move to Buraza Town. Number 75. In nearly all cases, the females in the Aishi family have children at a pretty young age, with the most common one being 19 years old. Number 76. It is said that the first Aishi resembled Ayano physically. Number 77. Speaking of the first Aishi, they were born with a different surname. They ended up changing their last name later down the line. Number 78. The members of the Aishi family aren't that close, in that they tend to distance themselves from other family members. Weird, but hey, who am I to judge? Number 79. If an Aishi senpai was female, they would somehow find a way to continue the Aishi bloodline. However, this has not been revealed as of this video's creation. Should I make a video about the Aishi family lore? Let me know in the comments below. Number 80. The character of Genka Kunahito is known to both look and act like her mother, Mei Kunahito. Number 81. This is because Genka heavily respects her mom and tries to be like her. Number 82. Adding on to this, Genka feels inferior to her mom and tries to reach her level. Number 83. According to the lore, one difference between Genka and Mei is that Genka has the slightly strict persona, while Mei has the strict persona. Number 84. Mei gave birth to Genka sometime during the 1990s. So either George H.W. Bush or Bill Clinton was the US president during Genka's youth. Number 85. The Psycho family is a very powerful one in the Yandere Simulator universe, being the owners of Psycho Corp. A real life equivalent to them would be the Walton family, the owners of Walmart. Number 86. Psychocorp was founded by Saisho Psycho in 1946, meaning that Psychocorp has been around for a very long time. Number 87. Some examples of the products owned by Psychocorp include Ayano's computer, Kocho's tape recorder, the laptop in the student council room, some cardboard boxes, and a disc inside the turtle's tank in the live music room. Number 88. It has been confirmed that one of the endings for Yandere Simulator will take place inside of Psycho Corp. Number 89. Megami is the richest student at Academy, which is not surprising at all since she's from the Psycho family. Number 90. Old school fans might remember the Rainbow Six. Prior to their partial removal, the group consisted of Yui Ryu, Yuna Hina, Koharo Hinata, Mei Mio, Saki Miyu, and Kakona Haruka. Number 91. There existed a boy variant of the Rainbow Six, which consisted of Haruto Yuto, Sota Yuki, Hayato Haruki, Ryusei Koki, Sora Sasuki, and Riku Soma. Number 92. Of these 12 students, the only three that still exist in 2020X mode are Riku Soma, Saki Miyu, and Kakona Haruka. Number 93. There exist opposite sex counterparts for Ayano and Taro, with them being Ayato Aishi and Taiko Yamada. They aren't real characters but more hypothetical ones. Number 94. 1980s mode was released on October 10th, 2021, which is a prequel to 2020X mode. In it, you play as Ryoba and attempt to defeat 10 rivals, much like the main game mode. Number 95. One difference between 2020X and 1980s mode is that the latter doesn't use the internet, infochan, smartphones, or anything like that, since those weren't available in 1989. Number 96. The Yakuza is available in 1980s mode. Which makes sense considering they were more of a thing during that time period. Number 97. Ayano's insane laugh is one of the oldest files in Yandere Simulator, being around since the very early days of development. It may get replaced in the future though. Number 98. Yandere Dev has stated that despite the game's lengthy development time, 
He still enjoys working on Yandere Simulator. Number 99. He has also said that once he finishes Yandere Simulator, he might work on other games. Finally, number 100. Despite all of the controversies, Yandere Simulator has left a huge impact on the indie video game scene, being played by people all over the world and having a fan base dedicated to it. With that, we have made it to the end of this video. This took a lot of researching, but it was worth it in the end. If you enjoyed learning these facts about Yandere Simulator, then make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to watch this video next.